Let's start with a couple of definitions. The first thing we want to talk about is what we call the order of a group. And that's very simple. The order of a group is the number of elements in that group. So, just going through a few simple little examples, the very first group we looked at was the symmetries of the square. We called that the dihedral group. And in fact, we even snuck in a little bit of preview of this. We called that the dihedral group of order 8. There were four reflections, four rotations, total of eight elements. So, if we just call that group G, the notation we would use is that the order of G, we use the absolute value, it's used for many things, specifically like the size of a set, which is basically what this is. Eight elements in the group, the order of the group is equal to eight. Okay. Another simple little example. One of the groups we looked at was the set 1, 3, 7, 9, with the operation being multiplication mod 10. Obviously, there are four elements, so the order of that group is 4. One more. If we look at the integers under addition, and you should probably go through and verify that that contains all the three properties of a group. In this case, there's an infinite number of elements in that group. There's an infinite number of integers. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. The order of that group is infinity. So that's the order of a group. There's also, we can talk about the order of an element in a group. And what the order of the element is, is it's the lowest number, lowest positive integer, that when you take the element to that power, you get the identity. So, let's actually just do a few examples from each of these groups that we mentioned here. Let's start with that group of square symmetries. If we take that group, one of the things we had was a reflection across a horizontal line. Well, certainly h to the first is just h, but if we do h squared, we do flip it across that horizontal line, and then flip it across that horizontal line again, you're back to the starting position. You have the identity, which in that case was rotation by zero degrees. On the other hand, a rotation by 90 the first is a rotation by 90. 
a rotation by 90 to the second is a rotation by 180. A rotation by 90 to the third is a rotation by 270. A rotation by 90 to the fourth gives us back to that rotation by zero. So in this case, the order of element H was two. The order of a rotation by 90, the order of that element was four. It's also worth noting that the order of the identity element, in this case R0, that order is always one. You take it to the first power, you've got the identity, so the order is one. Let's take one from this group right here. If I take the element seven, seven to the first is seven, seven squared is 49, which is nine, seven cubed would be seven times nine, 63 mod 10 is three, and seven to the fourth, we know seven cubed is three times another seven, 21 mod 10 is one. So the order of seven would be four. Now the last example, we were looking at the integers under addition. But if I take two, I don't care how many times I'm going to add two to that, I'm always going to get bigger and bigger numbers. There's no way I'm ever going to come back to a zero. So in that case, just like we said the order of that group was infinity, we're going to say the order of that element is also infinity.